Hey guys, it's Agent Reactions with Carnage. Today we're gonna doing we're gonna be doing Room 2015 of Part Five. When we last up in Part Four, now this is Part Five. <laughs> Please grab your snacks and popcorn, everybody. Here we go. Good morning, sleepyhead. I was waiting so long for you to wake up, I fell asleep again. Are we in another planet? Mm -mm. Same one, just a different spot. This one is a bedroom in a hospital. Are we sick for real or pretend? We're not sick, we're the opposite of sick. How long are we staying? Not long. Grandma saw us last night, and she's gonna get us once they say we're okay. And Grandpa? He was away for work, but he's on a plane coming back home. I went to bed before. I'm sorry. Yeah? It was by accident. It's okay. Hello? Yeah. Just now. Um. Yeah, that would be great. Can you bring it in 20 minutes? Okay, thank you. Step out. Okay. Well, that's waste. We'll get you new ones. For Sunday treat? There will be so many treats, and not just on Sunday. There's a shower. It's splashier. Jack, come here. That's us. Ma, will he find us? No. He will never find us. Come on. You want to come in? <laughs> Mom, the door is ticking. Hey, it's okay. Good morning. Hi. Hey, it's okay. So I hear we're all awake now? 
Yeah. Just put it right there. Can you check? Hi, Jack. How you doing? My name's Dr. Mattel. And you were asleep when I showed up this morning. You hungry? Do you want some breakfast? Yeah, you must be starved. I'm gonna bring you some breakfast. Check out what we got. It's pancakes and fruit. Some goodies, sunglasses. Okay. That'll make you more comfortable if you need to go outside. And um, sunscreen, that's for him mainly. This is important, that's, that's for Jack. Is that really necessary? Well, there's a lot of germs in the air that he still needs to get used to. And uh, my colleague prescribed this for your pain, for your wrist, until they can get you set up for surgery. And that's to help you sleep. Just take it if you need. Okay, thank you. Come on, Jack. Let's try some pancake, huh? So have you had a chance to think about what we discussed this morning? Yeah, I thought I did think about it. Thank you, but I, I really want to go home. Okay. You know my view. Yeah. And with everything you two have experienced, and uh, just to assess Jack properly. But nothing happened to Jack. I don't know. I understand. I He's going to be okay, right? The most important thing you did was get him out while he's still plastic. What? I'm not plastic. What's that, Jack? He says that he's... he's real. He's not plastic. Well, you got me there, Jack. You're real. And you're very brave. Let's talk about this later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
look at your board quickly. The back of the property is screened in pretty well, and we've taken care where necessary. So if you keep the front drapes closed, we'll be outside the meeting. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Your father's still talking to the lawyer. Yeah, you should are you okay? Yeah. Let's check out downstairs. You can do it. All the way in. Oh, that's good. Come on. One step at a time. Okay. One more. Hello. Good. Welcome home, buddy. Hi. I'm very, very happy to see you. Hey, Jack. You too. This is Leo. Hey there, sport. Leo's been our friend since your mom was little. Jack. Jack. Come on, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's alright. It's alright, sweetie. It's alright. Right. It's okay, come on in. Jack. Ah. So, uh, um, what can I get you? Anyone hungry? We have everything. Yeah, you've been so kind. Um, hey, Jack, would you like something to drink? Ask you a question. Do you want something? You hungry? Juice. You would like some juice, please. Okay. Right Thank you. What do you I'm five. Okay. Okay. Hey, you know when your grandma asks you a question, you can answer her. You need to say everything to me, okay? Just. Where'd you get this? Just in case. Do you have a dog? Oh. <laughs> it's Leo's dog, Seamus. <laughs> He's on furlough at the moment with a pal of mine out of town. Living the country life. Well, pe you know, people at the hospital said to avoid pets until your immunity's back up. What? The lawyer said they're expecting a plea, but we can't rule out a trial. He wanted to get into everything. I said, not today. Good. I made it clear there'd be no further contact, no statements to respect our family. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm sorry. Can I get you a drink, Bob? Thank you. But scotch, if you have, if, if whatever you have. Well, sweetie, is there anything you'd like or like to do? Or room, Jack. Hey. Uh, maybe tomorrow we can cut that hair. What do you say, Jack? What? That's true. He says that's where his strong is. You guys, Tom, we'll, we'll see you downstairs. We'll be downstairs.
Hier. I think I'll turn in. <clears throat> Is there something wrong? Mm -hmm. Why are you in such a hurry? Mm -hmm. It's been a big day. You haven't said one word to Chuck. Joy. Joy. Um, I don't want to talk about this now. Yes, we do, Dad. Look at him. Dad. Robert. Please. Dad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> You want to play with some of those toys? Uh. You know who that is? Yes, that's you. Yeah, that's me. And Stacy Benton. And Heather Noel. And Laura Sullivan. We were on a relay team. I was the anchor. I was really fast. We did track. Wheel track? On a field. You know what happened to them? No. Exactly. Lived their life and nothing happened. Jack, get away from the window. Jack? So, the other thing that we need to discuss is some sort of radio strategy. No, I'm, we're not ready for talking like that, not yet. So. Okay, um, there's going to be expenses moving forward. And a primetime interview, just one primetime interview is a lot.
get some time. Thanks. Thanks again. one of these guys is you. That guy? Mm-hmm. And who's this? What is that? It's a while. This guy sees blood under the eyes, so he wants to go dive his eyes help too. Oh. No, don't worry about it. Better rest. I'm almost done here. Well, I'm going to try to sing how this masterpiece turns out. Don't worry about it. Upstairs, please. Now. something real. I'm worried about him being on the phone. He's doing fine. Well, I don't give him my phone, so I'd appreciate it if you didn't give him yours. Okay, well, great. I just want him to connect with something. Happy. I just need to rest, okay? No, I don't. 
don't. I don't need to rest. What's the doctor that is not what the doctor said. You don't know what he said because it was a confidential conversation and you don't know what he said. All right, all right. All right. You're impossible to talk to right now. Oh, sorry. Well, no, no, you're not sorry. Yeah, I'm not sorry. You have no idea what's going on in my head. Yeah, well, try me. I have asked you. And then what? Then every time you look at me, that's all that you see? When I look at you, Joy, I will see my daughter. You don't need me. You've been doing just fine without me. How can you say that? Huh? Do you think that you were the only one whose life was destroyed? Actually, that's exactly what I think. Yeah, how would you feel if somebody took Jack away from you? Oh, shut up! Go away. Look at him! You should be thinking about him! Oh, don't you tell me how to look after my son! I'm sorry that I'm not nice anymore. You know what, maybe? If your voice saying being nice hadn't been in my head, then maybe I wouldn't have helped the guy with the fucking sick dog! Stay there, Jack. to another question. Okay. And I'm gonna, you know, my lawyer said that it's nice. You're good. Help me. Help me. Did you ever think you would see this house again? I hoped. You hoped, yes. And did you think about It's time to go downstairs, Jack. You remember what your mom said? The lights would get very warm. Just let me get this out of the way. Listening to you, I'm sure you must have felt at times as if God had deserted you. In those very black moments. Yeah. Did you consider taking your own life just to escape. I'm getting the feeling my client's okay. Here. I'm okay. Here a minute, please. I'm fine. Can I just have a tissue? Of course. Can we get her a tissue, please? Are you have to talk about? I'm sure. That's right. You don't have to apologize. Nobody's expecting you to be, you know, the, the pillar of strength. You don't <laughs> cry. You know, why don't we just go on to the next question? Would that be okay? Do you want to put your tissue maybe under your chair? Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. It's not See? Good. Okay. So, when Jack came along, was it different for you then? Um, when Jack came, everything was different. He was so beautiful. And I just knew that I had to keep him safe. Of course. Of course. When he's older, will you tell Jack about his father? Jack's not his. He's not his. So are you saying that there were other men? No. <laughs> no. Um, a father is... A man who loves his child. Of course, that's so true in a very real sense, but the, the biological relationship. But that's not a relationship. Jack is, is nobody's but mine. When he was born, did it, did it ever occur to you 
to ask your captor to take Jack away. Away? Well, to take him to a hospital, say, leave him there where he could be found. Why, why would I do that? So Jack could be free. Now, this is the ultimate sacrifice, and I understand that. But did you think about him having a normal childhood? But he had me. Of course he did. But was that the best thing for him?